Hi all of you, welcome back for the endodontics lecture and uh, the next topic I am going to discuss with you is obturation techniques, okay obturation techniques and there are various obturation techniques using gutta percha, using what? Using gutta percha, majorly we have to study and yes many of these techniques can be modified for other obturating materials, fine. So let us discuss uh, the various techniques. So broadly they are classified into different types, so, so I will first discuss with you the types and then I will come to one by one, okay. So the first one is lateral condensation which you all do by your hand instrument, okay, laterally condensing it. Then you have got, there is a warm lateral condensation, so this is cold lateral, you can call it as lateral condensation as such, then there is a warm vertical, okay, warm vertical condensation. Then we have got a modification of this warm vertical condensation which is continuous wave uh, condensation. So this warm vertical is an interrupted, just learn it like that. So the next one is continuous, okay, modification of vertical which is not interrupted as a continuous wave of condensation technique. Then you have got the thermoplastic, the liquefied form of the or injecting it into the or gutta percha into the canal, okay, the thermoplastic. Then you have got carrier based, okay, I think this will be new to you, carrier based and then you have got thermomechanical, okay, there is thermoplastic and thermomechanical compaction techniques and then you have got a solvent based techniques and yes, we will come to them, then they have paste based and there is immediate obturation. So let us come on to the first type which is lateral condensation. Basically, this is a method you all follow with your in your colleges and all, which is master apical cone is placed, okay, master cone is placed and then you place accessory cone around it, okay, you play it, place a master cone, then accessory cone around it. So how do you do it? You do it uh, or how do you place the accessory cones by inserting the spreaders, okay, inserting and just condensing it laterally, okay, so that is using a spreader, okay. Now, if you use a warm spreader, it's called a warm lateral condensation. We'll come to this a little bit details is required. We'll come to this later on. Okay. So that's the warm vertical, warm lateral. Okay. Now the spreader, where do you place the spreader? You have to place it within one millimeter of working length. So it is if the working length is 21 millimeters, you place the you the spreader should reach up to 20 millimeters, one millimeter away from the working length or within one mm of working length. Okay. Now, how is your pressure applied? What's the name of the technique? Lateral condensation. So is the pressure applied laterally? No, the pressure applied is in the vertical direction only. You you place a master cone and you apply pressure in the vertical direction only. You can't apply pressure in a lateral direction. Why? Because lateral pressure can break the spreader. One big problem. You can't place lateral. Because though the technique is la, uh, it's called a lateral condensation because you're you know you're though you're applying a pressure in a vertical direction. The the uh, accessory cone is moving in a lateral direction, okay, but you have to apply the pressure in that apical or vertical direction, not in a lateral direction because lateral pressure can break the spreader, so this can confuse you, okay. They can ask you in lateral condensation technique the pressure is applied, where? In an apical direction, now if, if they change the method of question, in lateral condensation technique the, the uh, accessory cones are condensed, condensed where? Laterally or apically? Laterally. Okay, but the pressure is applied in a apical direction. Okay, now also there is a, if you are applying a lateral pressure, you can break the root or you can fracture the root. Okay, now going further, the pressure is maintained for how long? 20 seconds. Okay, just apply pressure, maintain it for 10, 20 seconds, then remove it. I seen people doing it simply just next. Maintain the pressure for. 20 seconds and one more thing, the final cone is not condensed, the final accessory cone is not condensed, remember that, why? Because it can lead to spreader track, you place, you know, you are, imagine you are placing the master cone and for example, five accessory cones, so after first accessory cone you condense it, second accessory cone you condense it, third, fourth, after fifth no condensation because otherwise you will leave a tract of the spreader which can, what's the problem? It can contribute to leakage, okay, I've seen people doing it even after the last cone placed, they just condense it, no, after the last cone being placed don't condense it is what they're saying, to avoid the 
what leakage okay so that there is no spread attract okay so that's about the lateral condensation so this image okay this image this is a spreader the blue one is a spreader and the first master cone is placed you just condense it okay then the next accessory and so on and finally you get the final this thing so if imagine you're getting this kind of a picture in exam don't worry just see the spreader there and there is nothing else okay and you get the final condensation and that is it's called the lateral condensation method so basically in lateral condensation nothing just using the spreader and then how you are applying the pressure that's very important in an apical direction and maintaining the pressure for 20 seconds and don't condense the lateral score lateral the uh, last code final code in the options they can give you like this okay uh, final cone is condensed is not condensed like that or they can use final con final cone is condensed with a 20 millimeter 20 seconds pressure is it true or false it's false final cone is not condensed to avoid no again that's a question you're not condensing it because to avoid micro leakage or spread a track formation now then it's the next method we could discuss is warm vertical condensation so we studied lateral there is a warm lateral i'll come to that then there is a warm vertical okay there is no direct vertical because to condense it vertically you have to warm it okay to condense the gp vertically you have to warm it now it is introduced by a person called shielder okay shielder many people will be those who know uh, details about endodontics will be familiar with this guy that is shielder okay now gp cone is heat softened here okay though that is the warm that is gp cone is heat softened and what we do is we use heated instruments okay that is an older technique now you use some devices so you use heated instrument what kind of heated instruments to use you mostly use a plugger okay you use mostly a plugger or you can also use a spreader plugger is more commonly used i'll, I'll show you the pluggers which has got much more broader tip okay so plugger or spreader is used and uh, they are packed vertically okay they're packed vertically not laterally lateral condensation the accessory cones are packed laterally they are packed vertically here and thus they say that they fill the root canal in a three dimension even going into the accessory canals not as good as some other techniques but yes definitely it can fill it has the potential to fill the root canal in three dimensions so they can ask you all of the following fills the root canal in three dimension except definitely lateral compaction methods especially the the cold lateral compaction method doesn't fill it in a three dimension because it can't fill the accessory canals whenever it is warmed then only it can go into the accessory canals understandable isn't it now the thermal conductivity the conductivity of the heat through the gp cone occurs over a range of 2 to 3 mm so if you are heating this is a gp cone you are heating here 2 to 3 mm will be so the 3 mm from there will also be hot okay that's what so that's what it is called 2 to 3 mm thermal conductivity and uh, thus the raise in gp temperature gp cone temperature raises how much at the apex so you're condensing the last two to three mm just imagine okay or uh, yeah the last two to three mm you're condensing from top so what is the temperature at the last two to three mm is what they're saying the rise in gp temperature uh, which is seen as when you just take the plugger and keep it here how much is the temperature rise in temperature at the apex so which is about three to eight degrees celsius above the body temperature overall which is usually 40 to 45 so the rise in temperature is how much they can ask you an mcq 40 to 45 degrees celsius for the heat so the technique is basically what the technique is down packing okay and back filling packing it down and filling it above okay so down packing back filling and this is compared to the next technique which you are going to study is continuous wave compaction technique this is interrupted okay interrupted in between small 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 segments is placed whereas in continuous wave it's continuously being packed okay you will you'll see that okay just understand so what is very important here is warm vertical is interrupted okay the technique is basically same for warm vertical and the continuous it's down packer and backfill but here it is interrupted there it is going to be a continuous method okay now 
we said you can use plugger or spreader is there any other method which can make it much more easier and much more safer yes there are other sources for applying heat it is touch and heat okay the name of the device is touch and heat touch and heat easy EI down pack again we are using it in other technique also EI down pack system B again you will see there's in any many other techniques to come so it's other sources which you know it permits temperature control you're heating it in the flame you're not going to get a temperature control or the heat control whereas the device you can set the heat okay so they can ask you all of the following are used in you know uh, warm vertical except so touch and heat ea down pack system b they will say obtura 3 for example which is not used okay so that's one thing you have to learn here now how is the compacting force what are the compacting force compacting force in lateral condensation vertical here also it's vertical okay only thing is the the methodology of compaction is different there it is laterally here it is vertically it is compacting okay now the maximum temperature you see uh, 0 to 2 mm from the apex that means in the apical region how much is the maximum temperature noticed 44 degrees celsius okay so we saw here it is around 44 45 okay 44 to 45 so the same thing the maximum temperature they can ask you the maximum temperature at the apex uh, which you can see while the warm vertical compaction is 44 degrees celsius now one more thing which is much more crucial is the critical level of root surface so here it was apex how much is the root surface surface of the root because you are heating within the root canal how much is the uh, temperature at the apex that's what okay just take this as a root how much is the temperature at the surface here when you are heating uh, it inside how much is the root surface temperature okay the critical level of root surface temperature which is required or which will uh, produce an irreversible bone damage because outside the root you have bone so so if there is a root surface temperature very high it can damage bones how much is that that is any temperature greater than 10 degrees celsius can damage the bone okay any amount like if it is 11 degrees celsius on the outer surface of the root it can damage the bone okay that is what they're talking about so remember that okay so this in itself is an mcq that is the critical level of root surface temperature or heat that is a critical level of root surface heat which is required to produce an irreversible bone damage is how much greater than 10 degrees celsius okay now you see you see this when you're using a plugger or in touch and heat okay in touch and heat and it is not seen when you're using an ea down pack or system b you can see it in a plugger spreader or touch and heat system okay when you're using the ea down pack and system b you don't see it okay that's why ea down pack and system b is much more safer for warm vertical remember that now there are some disadvantages one is one vertical has got much more higher chance of root fracture than lateral compaction why because you're using in lateral compaction you have some space though using applying a pressure downwards you have some space here we are compacting it down down and filling it up so you, when you're compacting you have got a filled canal below the plugger so it can fracture the root to the side so that's a big problem potential for root fracture so you have to be very careful when you're using the pressure so there's a potential for root fracture then another problem is potential for extrusion of the material into the periradicular that is beyond the apex that is also there because you are applying pressure downwards and you are softening the gp also so it can go out so that's another problem usually what we do is we make the apical foramen we don't enlarge the apical foramen or we make it minimal small size when using a vertical warm vertical compaction methods less length control than lateral compaction yes you can same thing it, like when you're using a lateral compaction uh, you know that you are put a uh, cone till the apex isn't it you're very sure about that you put a master cone till the apex or one mm be, uh, below the apex but here you, you don't have you can't apply so much of pressure that you just stop it at the apex no but in lateral compaction you can do that especially the cold lateral contact compaction you can easily do that because you place a canal uh, sorry you place a master cone at that area so that's called the length control 
okay which is not possible when you're using this method okay difficulty in curved canals you know when there is a curved canal can you insert a plugger which is not very flexible no okay pluggers are not very first flexible devices so it's very difficult in curved canals so these are the disadvantages one is the potential for root fracture is there understandable just understand it okay you don't need to buy hard understand it then can the bomb vertical cause extrusion is there possibility of length control no then is there uh, any you know isn't it difficult in a curved canal yes because pluggers are not very flexible so what's the advantage we studied already that is three dimensional that is filling the irregularities and the uh, accessory canals much better compared to the lateral compaction method okay especially the cold lateral contact compaction methods now this is the pluggers okay this is a plugger the first one you can see here is a spreader and the second one is plugger so basically the name of this plugger is a little important okay uh, optura s condensers okay the c and d so they i don't know if they'll ask you or not but just know optura s condensers which is used for condensation warm vertical okay if they give you the exact picture image it's much more easy for you to understand okay optura s condensers even if you don't get it just think it this way no one is going to get it it's not easy unless you use it with your hand okay so optura s condensers uh, is what it is which is used for warm vertical compaction methods so basically the warm vertical it's very simple you just vertically compacting it once you are warming the gp that's it okay using a plugger spreader or some other device to heat okay so what is much more important here is the back filling is interrupted here okay and other source stretch and heat ei down pack system b of which we have told that is stretch and heat and the uh, plugger system can raise the temperature about 10 degree celsius okay so then <coughs> maximum temperature is 0 to 2 mm is 44 degrees celsius and the, this 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 is the critical level that is 10 degrees celsius greater than that it can damage the root and it is seen in plugger and touch and heat systems okay then the disadvantage is yes root fracture problem is there extrusion problem is there then length control is a big difficulty and curved canals is a problem but what is the advantage three dimensional filling of irregularities and accessory canals is much better okay this is this is the, this is how it is done you are placing the master cone here also but only thing is you are just cutting it off okay we are just placing it only till the uh, apical portion is only you are placing it okay you are keeping it in the apical portion only you are keeping it and remaining you are just severing and removing it so you have it now here okay and then you are heating the spreader and you place the next portion here and you compact it so this is why it is interrupted okay and then the next one that is again the next one and so on you just bring it till the top okay you are just softening it and placing it okay and this is the unit uh, touch and heat now see uh, i'm sure they are not going to ask you uh, by covering this portion okay so you have to be aware that just see uh, in your question can you just make it out you have heard of something which is explained on the picture for example if you just see this touch and heat you know what is it used for so they'll ask you the the device shown below is used for warm vertical compaction because you know touch and heat is used for i'm i'm very sure they will not cover this okay because if they cover it it can be any device okay so this is taken from your cohen okay this images are taken from your cohen so if you get this kind of image also what it is the warm vertical okay next method is continuous wave of condensation now this is nothing but it's a simplified and faster version of warm vertical where we are using something known as system b we saw there okay touch and heat is not uh, not acceptable because root surface temperature is more system b is much more acceptable so remember if you are doing warm vertical compaction using system b it is continuous wave of condensation remember that okay using a warm vertical condensation method using system b it is continuous wave of condensation now it uses a electric heat carrier uh, instead of pluggers or spreaders what is that system b and what is the speciality of system b it has got four different types of pluggers interchangeable pluggers 
instead of one single type okay four interchangeable and which is very much consistent with the you know the you have studied the rotary endodontic instrument which is the profile gt isn't it so it is consistent this plugger is consistent or has got the same apical diameter and all of that of or the same dimensions of the profile gt instruments okay profile gt instruments so remember that that in itself is a question system b has got the shape of which type of instrument profile gt instrument they can give you different others universal pro taper that this and all so remember it is profile gt okay because basically it's manufactured by the same company so its system b is used in continuous wave continuous wave okay now what next allows controlled heating no doubt okay because you set the temperature at 200 degree celsius and it doesn't allow about this okay the temperature of that plugger doesn't go above 200 degrees celsius because you can touch it or sorry you can set it and there is a mode called touch mode which is used for continuous wave of compaction so you'd use it at 200 degrees celsius at touch mode and this will help to maintain the root surface temperature remember i said we studied in warm vertical so which will help the root surface temperature to never exceed 10 degrees celsius so it's very important to set it at this temperature 200 so that the root surface temperature doesn't go above this so that you don't damage the bone okay so that's one thing now temperature any temperature above 250 degree celsius if you're setting this temperature above 250 degree celsius it is hazardous because it goes above this temperature so that's it's hazardous okay remember that in system b then what you do is you pre-fit the plugger you keep the plugger in the i'll show you this in the canal where do you keep it do you keep it 1 mm above the apex no 5 to 7 mm from the apex or within the 5, 5 to 7 mm of the canal length above 5 to 7 mm above the apex you keep it because you're condensing it okay now one point to note the heat transfer using system b does not take place 2 to 5 mm of gp okay that is if you have a gp cone like this okay and you place your system b on top of here what you see you can see one two three four five only this much the heat will come okay two and then sometimes two sometimes five so only two to five mm beyond this this area is not heated up so what you should do what is the thing which you have to be careful about a pical portion should be single cone you pay the master cone and keep it there and then only you condense from the top because at the apical region you're getting what you're not getting heat okay because it's a continuous wave of compaction you're using so remember that the apical portion is again single cone technique okay so this is same for what same for your uh, warm vertical lateral condensation and all so here also the same thing because the gp cannot you know transfer the heat beyond a 2 to 5 mm usually it's 2 to 3 maximum 2 to 5 so the apical portion you have to be always single cone only above that using this continuous wave compaction methods okay basically it is down packing and back feeling only but here the down packing is continuous whereas in warm vertical the down packing is interrupted slowly one by one the first so first cone you keep it so this is basically the system b okay it's written there system b so they can ask you used for what easy okay but system b remember it's used for the next different types of also so we'll come to that so remember system b is definitely used in continuous wave compaction methods and it is much more advantages also so here it is so you this is this is what where you keep your uh, instrument that that is away from the apex 5 to 7 mm isn't it so here what you do is you have a single cone there isn't it and you know that it doesn't reach the last 5 to 7 mm okay but remaining you just condense it and make it as a single block from top okay so the other one we are using it a small portion here warm vertical then next one then next one because using a plugger here you are using system b which has got a much more continuous motions so what you do is you place one full cone here and you condense from the top below okay so, so that you get a good mass okay that's why it is continuous 
the process is done. You click one, you keep one cone, continuously condense it, and you get one block. So what the filling the remaining space? Use fill the remaining space left by plugger by a thermoplastic injection technique, or you can also use warm vertical. Okay. So hope you got what I'm saying. You place one single cone inside this. Okay, and you condense it. It's condensed in such a way that you get this much portion. Remaining portion, what you do? This portion you just use either the thermoplastic which you are going to study next, or you can use the warm vertical in itself. Okay, so it's continuous wave. It's just a modification where you use system B and system B is consistent with profile GT instruments. Very 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 important. Okay, and what's the setting? 200 degrees Celsius at touch mode, and so you don't get the temperature above 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, and then the pluggers are where do you place it, and how much? So, what what do you mean basically here? Use a single cone, condense it as a continuous wave, fill it. Okay, so the down packing is continuous. That's it. So so far we have said about three methods: lateral compaction. Okay, then the warm vertical. Continuous wave, warm vertical and continuous. What's the difference? Warm vertical, you are using a plugger, hand instrument, and uh, the continuous wave using a heating device, like system B or uh, EI down pack or touch and heat. Use a different a, a method. So remember that there should not be any confusion. Warm vertical is by plugger or spreader. If you are using a heating device, it's a continuous wave of pump action methods. Okay. so the remaining portion i'll discuss in the next lecture